Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ajay. So here in this video I am going to explain about migrations in Entity Framework. So before watching this video I prefer you to watch my previous 4 videos uh, where I was explaining about how to insert, delete, update and create, uh, create the data using Entity Core First Approach. So uh, in this video I will be explaining about migrations. So migrations are nothing but uh, by using by enabling migrations you can automatically update uh, your tables in the database from the code I mean so for example if you see uh, here I'm having the custom class it's a, uh, it's actually a data model I mean based on this class in my first video I've shown you based on that class I got this table created I got this table uh, created automatically so in this I this uh, I got two columns based on the properties so if you see if you see my code see public class employee is my class name and I have two properties here and this property is the primary key so same as third way I got the table created in the database and to that table I got two properties so initially when when I started uh, with the code first in the in my first video if you see when I started uh, inserting the data and when I create this uh, object for the employee context for the first time, it will automatically create these tables in this uh, database for me. The migration history and the employees table. This migration history is the default table. So I will be I will explain over this in a while. So based on this class, if you see based on this class, I got the table created in the database. So if in case uh, if I update any properties, if I add any properties to this class. So it will this migrations will automatically update that in this uh, database of this uh, in this uh, for this table in this database. I mean, if I add any new property, then it will automatically add a new column to this table. So that is about migrations. And also, if you add any attribute over the property, like uh, uh, something like any string length or anything like that about the property, then it uh, it will it will also uh, update that automatically to the, the table column uh, property like that so everything that you do I mean everything that you update for in this class it will automatically update in the database table automatically using migrations so I will show you how you can work with that so for working with migrations first you have to enable the migrations so for enabling the migrations go to tools and then after nugget package manager and then after go to package manager console So here you have to type a command called enable package migrations. So for the first time it will take some time. Oh, sorry I typed the wrong command over there it's only enable migrations okay oh, it's not enable package migrations oh, it's only enable migrations sorry for the mistake it's still loading yeah here you can see code first migrations enabled for the project sample code so after enabling the migrations you can see uh, it will automatically generate a new folder called migrations here and in this migrations you will be having two oh, two dot .cs files so this is the initial file and this is the configuration of that file so so if suppose if suppose I want to add another property to this class so in the same way if I add the property I have to get that column in the table right so for that I want to add a new uh, new property to this class so directly you can add using prop and I want to 
uh, I want uh, this property is for getting the salary I mean storing the salary of the employee so type is in I'm naming it as employee underscore salary okay and I want to make this field as required so for not allowing the null values into the okay so here if you see I just added a new property to this custom class so in the same way I have to expect a new column in this table so let me do with the migrations so for for making it possible you have to first add the migration and then after you have to update the database so again go to tools package manager console let me clear this okay so now I added a new property to this class so I have to update that property to the table so for that you need to type the command as first add migration and you have to name the uh, migration name here like added new property okay so if you see it will automatically generate a new file in this migrations again see with the name added new property so here if you see here it added a column for me it generated a statement for uh, adding a column called employee salary and if you see in this up method it is adding the column and if you see in the down method it is dropping the column so this is always I mean in any migration you can find these two methods in any time I mean this in this up method it is always for upgrading the table and this down is for degrading the, your table I mean whatever here uh, you have in this method it will be quite opposite in this method I mean if you create a table here it will automatically drop a table here like that so it's just opposite of this okay this is about that migration file so after writing the migration I have to add, update this statement to the database for doing that I have to type a command call update database so for now we are if you see I have only two columns for this table so after updating I have to see three columns over there so I'm done with updating the database so let's go to the database and check the tables whether I got a new column or not so let me rephrase this So here you can see I got a new new column added employee salary uh, with the given property not null. So that's about migrations actually. So that's it. I mean this is about migrations and also if you and for example if you go to the same employee custom class and for example I want to make this I want to add another property to this like string length. Not more than 50 characters so I just updated a attribute to this I mean I want to uh, allow only not allow only 50 up to 50 characters for this employee name so let me check and uh, let me show you how you can do this from uh, the code to update it to the table automatically so again we have to do the same thing first we have to add the migration And I'm calling it as uh, added attribute string length. Okay. Okay. So it added the migration to my migrations folder. So here you can see it added the latest version. So this migrations, I mean, this will be. Uh, it will follow the versions I mean it will have the latest version every time and it will follow as accordingly to the latest version so if you see in my latest version it just altered the column of the employee name and it is changing the max length of 50 and it is uh, I mean it is changing the value of the max length to the 50 so that I mean in the app method if you see it is uh, doing the operation that I've mentioned 
uh, that I wanted actually to make for the column in the table and if you see in the down method it will again just uh, degrade from the upgrade method I mean it will just degrade it is just quite opposite to this so that's about that so if you see in my database for now I have the max value and where can max it is a, it has it is as max so I want to make it as 50 right so I added the migration so the only thing that I have to do right now is to update the database update it to database okay okay done so let me check in the database so let me refresh so here you can see it is 50 so now this column uh, this has only a limit up to 50 no more than 50 so that's about the migrations anything that you want to update to the table uh, you can directly do it from the uh, code itself using migrations so for and anytime you have to remember three steps for migrations first you have to enable the migrations for the first time then whenever you add new properties or new things to the custom classes then you have to add that migration then after adding the migration you have to update that migration to the database so in, in any case you have to follow these three steps for making the mi migrations possible so that's all about migrations uh, thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you